so hi everyone welcome back to Shirley's garden um, it's the beginning of April we've just had a lovely morning at the local garden centre haven't we that's opened in our uh, town near to us um, so someone was giving a talk there on loads of different topics wasn't he perennials and what you do with your tomatoes and everything um, and then we've had a lovely breakfast uh, look around, uh, bought lots of things, um, and now we've come back to Shirley's garden. So, um, what we're going to concentrate on today, um, oh, I should say, say hello, Shirley. Hello. <laughs> so, what we're going to concentrate on today, I'll get the camera, um, is this border here, which Shirley um, dug out about what three years ago now so this is a good tip if like most gardeners you're looking for more space to put plants um, so this used to be one great big lawn um, totally practical when the grandchildren were small and played um, in the garden but now they're grown up um, so she was thinking, mm, where can I get a bit more soil from? So she dug this um, sort of, it's like a kidney shape, isn't it? Out the middle of the garden and as usual, packed it full of plants. Um, and then she did this corner as well of the garden. So I'm going to walk around and tell you which plants she's packed into here because it's a beautiful border and she knows all the names of them so this um clump of brown crispy stuff here now i know what this is this is um a true geranium with a lovely little ladybird that she's just spotted so we'll have to be careful for him so that gets like a deep sort of beautiful it grows about what 12 inches tall the flower um this is lunaria um this looks dead but it's not it's the most fabulous fuchsia in this tub here what have you got in here Lilies. Oh yeah, these are huge, aren't they? And where did you buy them? Was that was that Harrogate? Harrogate Flower Show, which in our opinion is well one of the best flower shows in the UK. It's lovely. Um Right. I think I grew this from seed, didn't I? Is that Veronica Yeah. Yes. Veronica Astum. This is just weed. You see, when we do this border, um, I'm going to um, dig out the weeds and dig out some of the plants that aren't wanted, and then we'll edge it, and it'll look smart as, smart as a dart. What's this, um, like, twiggy bit here? Is this your Alstroemeria? And this is fantastic. Do you know the name of that? But it's like a an orange and red alstroemeria goes really tall. Um, so this is this is it coming up here. Um, these here, these dark leaves. She's got some tulips. What colour is this aquilegia? A beautiful yellow aquilegia. And then what's this shrub here? What colour? White blossom and then a black berry. And if anybody recognises it out there, please um, leave a comment and let us know what. Um, we've got some pinks down there. Um, beautiful, gorgeous hellebore here. 
And then what's this beautiful white one, Shirley? Arabus. Right. This is a beautiful rose. What colour is that? Is that a pink one? How big would you say he grows? About four foot. And we cut him right back, right back down um, in the autumn. And then this clump here flock and what color is that white flock um we've got a fabulous snake's head fritillary isn't it isn't he lovely there's little yellow throat there and there should be a white one shouldn't there we've got some Primula. Um, what's this plant on the corner? That's a geranium, is it? This is the most beautiful miscanthus. Um, we dug him up and chopped him into three pieces what, last year, wasn't it? Or was it the year before? Um, so you can just see in there the green um, is coming back so he needs all the dead stuff taking out we've got some aubrecia is it that little purple flower a beautiful rock which she brought with her from her last garden oh my gosh there's the sunshine coming out yay um what else there's a cow oh yes a cow slip down there fabulous we've got mr mall who's had a very smart coat of paint shirley painted him last week um this plant here is beautiful it's a big white campanula grows about what three foot tall Um, got some beautiful grasses and lots and lots of weeds growing around the outside. Oh, and this is a gorgeous uh, red acer, isn't it? And then we are going to tidy this border up. So this rose is gorgeous. What's this one called? Double Delight. Double Delight. And what colour is that? White. White. And, oh, lovely. So it starts off white and it turns to pink on the edges. And it has a lovely perfume. Um, round the front here is this saxifrage um, and then we've got some wallflowers um, I grew these from seed about two years ago um, some people pull their wallflowers out after they finish flowering but if you've got room in your garden to keep them they will come back year after year eventually they do sort of they get more leaf than flower but this one's covered in flower um this gorgeous thing here is a hydrangea pinky winky and he's um so these cone shaped flowers are all shades of white and pink then she's got some gorgeous hyacinths in there she's got primroses She's got a hellebore at the back there. Um, this is chamomile down here. And then in this patch of soil here, what's growing there? Calla lilies. lilies. And you've got an aran lily, haven't you? Calla lilies are yellow, aren't they? Yellow and orange. Um, and in that 
pot there is that your oxalis that oh my gosh and look at this is this a peony beautiful peony there and this is Shirley's new pond um, and it's got little portholes all around the outside can you see the fish in there and that's so that she can sit in her conservatory and she can see the fish um, because they used to live in that old whiskey barrel. That was Shirley's original pond um, behind where she's sitting now. But obviously she couldn't get out to see them unless somebody brought her out into the garden. So you've got great plans for this. Mm. We're gonna, you're going to have a, a stumpery, aren't you? A fernery. <laughs> Lovely. Right. So... Shirley's actually going to go into the front garden now, aren't you? And you're going to water your tubs, which are under the rain shadow. And I'm going to start digging this border. So with this geranium, you, you can see the new leaves right down there. You don't want to cut them. You're just cutting all this dead stuff away. Obviously watching out for that little ladybird there. Right, I'll show you how I'm going to edge this lawn. We may as well do it as we go around. So Shirley's got a proper edging, um, lawn edging tool. It's very posh. I use a pair of scissors. And you just go down to the level of the lawn. Um, actually, I'm going to cut into the lawn a bit to get a nice, clean edge. Just gently tease it forward and it lifts the soil. out the sort of divot that you've just loosened up. I'm going to put all this in the corporation compost bin and you get a nice smart edge. So I've got a lovely little tub of Aubrey We bought these last week, didn't you? And they've been driving around in my car all week. We'll always leave some of Shirley's plants in the back of my car. It's like a little mobile greenhouse, isn't it? <laughs> or where the grass was, yeah. And what Shirley's saying there is by the time this Aubrey has finished flowering, this purple geranium will have taken over. Put this one over here. Very 
a lovely little pants, Shirley. Right, they're quite dry, they need a, a water. And Shirley has, um, this is just grass, isn't it, off the bird seed. She has loads of birds in her garden. So this is a bird feeding station. Um, so what type of of birds do you get? Goldfinches. <laughs> and you name them all <laughs> and what happens is she piles the bird table high with seed um, and then they're not very well they're very messy aren't they the birds and mo a lot of the seed flows down into the garden and that's where you get these big clumps of grass from right what? Oh, they're worth it, yes. Oh, you've got a big clump of campanula there as well, there and there. Yeah, it's amazing stuff. Amazing. You've got a nice little um, aquilegia here as well. That's a lovely blue one. A lovely blue one. Bought that at Harrogate as well. So the Harrogate show, flower show, is on in April. And we're going to go down, aren't we? I think is it the tw it's like the Thursday to the Sunday at the end of the month. I think it's something like the twenty seventh onwards. So we're going to try and get down on the the Thursday. weather permitting. So what kind of food do you feed the birds, Shirley? What do you get for them? White bird, bird seed and niger seed. And sunflower hearts. Sunflower hearts. And fat balls. And fat balls, wow. Little wonder they love your garden.
so there we are, we're all done. Doesn't it? <laughs> How long do you think that took? I think it's about uh, yeah, three hours. Three hours. Yeah. It's always three hours. Isn't it? Yeah. I've got to put your little uh, mushrooms back in its place and your bird, your bird back. But yeah, it looks it looks so much better, doesn't it? It's amazing what you can achieve in three hours. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, that's the beauty of perennials, isn't it? And you've got a nice mix because you've got shrubs and perennials. This, 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 is the offering of the woman that is in this flower and it is lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. And your agapanthus over there. We should turn the camera around so that you can see what we're looking at. Just gorgeous and the birds are all hanging around can you see the pigeons up there on the roof waiting oops oops <laughs> frisky <laughs> he's gone all self-conscious because the camera's on <laughs> he's embarrassed now <laughs> but straight away there was a little um a little blue tit down on the lawn wasn't there so we are going to have our coffee and mm, millionaire's shortcake biscuits yum i think we've earned it <laughs> oh you till the soil that's it when it comes to doing your baskets and everything you're a lot more hands-on but when you're actually digging borders out and that no. So I hope you've enjoyed the visit to Shirley's garden. Um, it's beautiful. I know. Oh yes. Well, we're going to come back every month. So this is the April showing, and we'll be back in May. Um, and you might think, well, you should have trimmed all those borders around there, but you can only do so much in a day. So um, we'll sort of do the borders out. We like to do a bit of weeding in the border and then do the edge of that part. And then eventually, by the beginning of the summer, all the edges are done. And you can just keep, you can just go around with the scissors then. So, okay, so we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.